Welcome to another edition of the Weekly Roundup where we bring you the top stories from the week. I'm Alex with GTV. An executive order from President Trump banning travel from seven predominantly Muslim countries sparked protests across the country and on campus. It is important to note that some people affected by this ban attend our university. According to enrollment data, over 100 students at the University of Minnesota are from the restricted countries. This means that if these undergraduate and graduate students choose to visit their home countries while the order is in place, they will not be allowed back into the U.S. President Kaler gave a statement of support to those individuals. February 1st marked the beginning of Black History Month, and the Black Student Union is hosting several events throughout the month on campus for anyone wanting to participate. University of Minnesota researchers have designed a robotic arm controlled by the mind. It is not invasive, meaning that no instruments enter the body. For it to work, you have to imagine the movement you want to perform, then the brain translates the movement into the head cap. After the computer analyzes the movements, the robotic arm will move. The researchers say that this device may help people with certain disabilities. The University of Minnesota football team signed 25 new recruits on Wednesday. Five of these recruits are from Minnesota. In case you didn't know, this is PJ Fleck, the new head coach of the team. Thanks for watching this week's Roundup. Check back every Sunday to get the latest headlines of the week.